Hello everyone and welcome back to ECS30. In this video we're going to be talking about how to enable warnings inside of CLion. So the C compiler divides the mistakes you make in your code into two different categories, errors and warnings. Errors are code mistakes uh, in your program that the C compiler is unable to translate into actual machine code. For example, if we made a mistake in our syntax here by forgetting to include the semicolon, the C compiler won't be able to translate our program uh, into an executable file. The other category of mistakes we can make uh, fall under warnings. And these are things that may or may not be correct but C is still able to translate into a, an executable. For example, if we made the mistake here on line eight of forgetting to include the ampersand here, you can see that C line is trying to notify us of our warning by highlighting it in yellow, but C is still able to compile this into an executable. You can see down here, it was able to successfully build our program, even if this warning is there. But if we try running our program, you're gonna see that it's going to fail. And it's not very obvious as to why. If we try running it inside the debugger, we're gonna see that an error at the very end, but it's only gonna be very brief. So here we go. You can see there's an error popping up down here about some stack dump. This is because we forgot to add the ampersand in here. And again, it's nice to highlight in yellow, but this may not be loud enough for you and it's not really loud enough for me. A lot of times I might just go past this line of code and not notice that anything's wrong with it. So if I put the ampersand back here, the error is gonna go away. The error's gonna go away and everything will work correctly. But what happens if we want uh, C line to be a bit more forward about the error of warnings that we have in our code and perhaps refuse to compile it. If we want to be able to do that, we need to add the following code. These two lines, five and six, in between lines four and what are now seven. This first line here creates a new variable inside your CMakeList file. Uh, that has these values here. The first value is saying turn on level one optimizations. These are needed so that some more warnings will be found. The next line turns on all the warnings. Next line says, let's treat our warnings and er as errors. So if our code does have any warnings in it, we're gonna treat them as errors so it won't be able to compile and it'll stop. And this last one is to ignore a particular warning that's not very useful. And then the next line on line six is actually going to turn on uh, or add those flags that we just created here in this variable called GCC enable warnings into our C compiler flags. Now, if we go back to main and we get rid of this ampersand and we try to build our code, since we now have these uh, warnings enabled and we're treating them as errors, we're not going to be able to compile. And so what we're trying to do now is use the compiler to help us catch mistakes we might have in our program, which is a good thing to do because it's going to save us a lot of heartache later on because some of these can be a little bit tricky to find. Now, back here in our cmakelist.txt, we might find that typing these lines of code here is pretty annoying, and we might make mistakes either copying and pasting them or typing them. So what we can do is we can create a new shortcut by going to File Settings, then go into Editor and select Live Templates, then go down to CMake, click on it, and then you'd want to click Add, and this is going, and then down to Live Template. This is going to add a new Live Template. Um, right now, I've already created one. It's down here called C Warnings. And for the abbreviation, you might want to call it C warnings or whatever you're like. This is going to be the shortcut that you're going to have to type in order to get the warnings to appear inside of C Lion. Put your description as to what you want, but make it meaningful. Mine says I want to add warnings to C compilation. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste those lines that we had back here in our code into this template text area. 
but we need to add these extra dollar signs because the dollar signs have special meaning inside of the uh, live template and we want to get rid of them. So two dollar signs. Then finally, what you need to do is go down to here and click change. And then you're going to want to select CMake, Command and Other. And this will allow us to insert our template. I'm going to get rid of this guy that I made because he didn't do anything. He's gone. Click OK. And now if these lines of code are gone, what I can do is add them back quickly by pressing Control J, Control J, and then, hold on, then typing C warnings, then hitting Tab, and it will automatically expand that template that we created earlier, drilling that in for us. So it's not really that annoying to add into your code. Instead of typing Control J, what you can also go do is go to Code, click Insert Live Template, then select C warnings, and then again, that's going to put it in. This is how you can add warnings to your C line code. Uh, these commands will be in the description of the video, so you don't have to uh, write them down. You can just copy and paste them in. And hopefully, you find this to be pretty helpful and able to help you catch more errors and mistakes you might make as you begin your programming. See you guys all in the next video.